For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, let's do this problem where you have to determine the reactions at the smooth contact points A, B, and C on the bar. So right off the bat, this is what you got to figure out. You got to draw the free body diagram. It's going to be confusing. All you got to do is just think about it. Whenever you're drawing a reaction, try to look at the surface. Don't look at the assembly. Look at the surface that, that is reacting. So actually, let me make this a new layer. You got the reaction at B going straight up. Why is it going straight up? Because the surface here is flat. Surface here is flat. Reaction at A going straight down. And this reaction, since it's at a corner, is going this way. Because we have this surface right here. So you always got to look at Draw, draw the lines, it makes it easier to draw the reactions, otherwise you're going to get uh, a bit confused. It's, it's very easy to get confused in this problem. That's just the, the hardest part is to draw the right free body diagram. So then you have to figure out some angles and then you're good. So let me draw a line right there. You know that this is 30 degrees going straight down like that is 30 degrees. If this is 30 degrees you can see a triangle right here and you know this is 90 degrees obviously so this is 90 and this is 30 that adds to 120 which means this is 60 because you know that the sum of the angles in the inside of a triangle adds up to 180 all the time every time that being said you know right off the bat that this is 30 since that one's 30 this is also 30 30 degrees. Now we found some angles. You know that this angle right here is 60 degrees because you know that this angle right here is 30 degrees, same as this one. So now that you figured out all this, and you know that this little tiny angle right here is also 60 degrees. I'm not going to write it down, otherwise, I'm going to clutter up too much. I like to draw my angles in my free body diagrams, makes it easier to do some quick calculations. That being said, sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero. In the x we have the 250 newton force times the cosine of 30. This 30 is going to the left, so let's put minus, plus the reaction at c, I'm going to call it fc, times the cosine of 60 because fc is going to the right, so it has an x component right there, and that x component is given by fc times the cosine of 60 and that is equal to sorry that's a 60 and that is equal to 0 so you solve for FC right off the bat and you get that FC is equal to 433 newtons that's a reaction at C let's do some of the moments at B is equal to 0 the moments right here if we do some of the moments at B or you could also do some of the moments at A I just pick B because whatever it was next to it but you do some of the moments at 1 and you already have FC, you already have this 250 and you only will have one more variable because you kill one by doing the some of the moments at one of these two points, either A or B. So some of the moments at B, let's assume counterclockwise is positive, is equal to the moment being created by the 250 Newton force, which has two, it has two components. has this component right here, the one creating the moment at 90 degrees of the lever arm. And this one is aiming straight away from B, so it's creating no moment. So 250 times the cosine of 30, that's this 30, times the distance between here and B, which is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4, which is equal to 0 0.6, minus the moment created by F of C, which is going over here at 90 degrees at a distance of 0 0.2, FC times 0 0.2, minus the moment created by f of a which is turning the lever arm that goes from here to here which is given by 0.15 this distance right here times the cosine of 60 because you know this is 60 since this is 90 so cosine of 60 and all of that is equal to 0 we have f of c 
all we're missing is f of a, simple algebra, everything else is numbers, solve for f of a, and you get that f of a is equal to 577.4 newtons. Beautiful. All we're missing now is the sum of the forces at y is equal to 0. Sum of the forces at y is minus 250 sine of 30. y sine of 30, this 30 right here, is this is what we're trying to find, going straight down, plus fc, cosine of 30, this 30 right here gives us the y component, sorry I'm getting cluttered up there, plus f of b minus f of a is equal to 0. Just numbers on the first term, we got fc, we found FA, all we're missing is FB, simple algebra, we plug in the FA and FC, you solve for FB and you get that FB is equal to 327.4 newtons. Guys, I have to go play soccer with my friends, so I'm done for the day. Final answer for FA, final answer for FB, final answer for FC, those are the three reactions. In this problem, the hard part is building a good free body diagram, so practice always making your free body diagrams and try not to clutter it up as much as I did. When you draw it on your paper, draw it big, the bigger the better, and take notes in every single thing that goes through your mind, that way you can always go back. So final answer, and remember guys, the trick is to be neat on the free body diagrams. That's the rule. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.